point. So it's gardening time again, and unfortunately, I have broken my only garden fork, or at least the only one that I've got at home. The others tend to be, well, they're all down the allotment. I broke this the other day um, when I was getting some rose bushes, which were gonna be thrown out. Anyway, so what I need to do is make a new handle. Now this is um, an old hardwood spindle. You can see the sort of ready color there. And as it happens, I've got another one, albeit slightly longer than the uh, original one. So what I'm gonna do is use this new one and as the screw heads are a bit worse for wear on the top there, I'm just going to recycle part of the shaft on this one for a handle, I think, and see what I'm left with. But first things first, I've got to get the old bit out of the... Um, head of the fork. So I'll undo the screws first. to slide that out without some help so uh -huh. so if I drill a hole in there a bit smaller than that wind that in and then see if I can get it out that way So now, let's see if we can clamp that bolt in the vise. Let's see if I can get it. surprisingly well if I'm honest. Mm -hmm. Well there's that bit which as you can see came off there so no need that. The other hand I will put to one side just see if I can straighten that tying up a little bit on this one. might be wondering why I only have one fork at home because we don't really use them a lot in our garden I and mean, this is a little border fork so it's narrower than a normal digging fork and we've got a lot of plants in the garden already and this tends to be less of an issue when you're trying to get in and around things it's nice and small so you can get in to places that a larger fork can't right so that's that bit done. Next thing is obviously 
I need to taper one end of my new handle. I'm going to do that using this. It's like a little draw knife. So the principle is pretty straightforward. Just put it on the wood and draw it. That's getting that. A little bit more, and then that'll be that bit done pretty much. Okay. I'll give that a bit of a sand and then I will um, give it an oil before putting it into the actual fork head. Oh, so, it's that bit done. And do the handle like that. Next. too far from the old one. Okay. So I'm just going to use a bit of finishing oil, well, Danish oil basically. On the bit that will be in the side, the fork body if you like. just to protect it a little bit which is probably where the other one went so it didn't look after the wood enough so that's that bit I might just cut a little bit off there, just so that it goes in. And it's a good length. For what I want it for anyway. So the next thing to do is sort out the end. And I'm going to square the end off. And using the old handle, I shall make myself a new one, like that. And where you can see where it's rounded round the handle. I don't know whether to do it like that or whether to make like a mortise and tenon with it. I don't know. If I'm honest, the handle on that one that lasted a while. It was quite fine. It was that bit that failed. So I might just repeat that step.
so I am going to use one of these to um, make the groove for the new handle I said. All these are, so that is a set of drum sanders. Basically, you can pick them up fairly cheap, but they are useful for things. They come in uh, all shapes and sizes. Yeah, I think that'll do well. Right. So now, just salvage a bit of this for a handle. We'll keep that because there's still some bits on there that I can use for various things. So the idea will be is where I've made a little mark there, I will drill and countersink probably a coach bolt or something like that. Then I will fix it to the handle or the shaft of the right uh, fork. Give it a clean and an oil, and it's ready to go. Okay, so I've got the groove for the handle to sit in. I've roughly shaped a new handle, and using a force and a bit, I've put a pilot hose hole in so I can put a coach bolt in, and I will glue it and fix it to the handle that way and then what I'll do is I'll make a plug for that and sand it smooth so hopefully it'll last a bit longer I'll use a bit of glue as well And I've just got a little socket bit in there. So, there's my handle. All in and secure. There's the co coach bolt. And I've made a little plug. This is just the, the broken bit. Might as well recycle that as well while I'm at it. Turned it quickly on my lathe and the idea is, is I'll just 
glue that in there after I cut it off there obviously and then when I'm sanding it I'll just sand it to the shape of a handle <laughs> Keep that. It'll be useful for some things. I tend not to throw too much away. The downside of that is I end up looking like a hoarder. Um, looking at the amount of wood I've got in my shed, it's probably true. So I'll put a load of glue in there. Gentle taps. There we go. And we can see that on the end there, with the glue is actually forcing itself through the grain. Well, I don't mind, that'll be fine. So, I'll give you uh, the whole thing a good sand now, and then I'll fit it to the, the head of the fork. That's quite a nice feel to it already. So, alright, I'll get on and sand that now. I'm just going to roughly sand it with this. It's like a, a flexible shaft with a just a sanding pad in. And I'll give it a good sand with that. Get that obviously turned nice and round. And then just go over it with either like a hand sand or one of my little electric sanders. So, not too bad. Still feels a bit rough. And there's a couple of little edges which I need to smooth out. But the handle's on there good and tight. That won't go anywhere. Relatively good in the hand. And uh oh, yeah. so just get one of my little sanders out. Some of which I've had for many, many years. Still serve me well. And then give it a final oil once it's done. Okay, there it is. All done. There's the uh, little plug that I put in the top. I've not been too accurate, accurate with it, so the, it's probably not quite dead centre, and the edges aren't quite as smooth as some people might like, but. The main thing is, is it feels good in the hand, handle's not too thick, so all I've really got left to do is attach it to the fork part, which is fairly simple, 
should get it in get it lined up so that the uh, handle is the same way as the fork part and just give it a bit of a bit of a tap on the end like that and the uh, the the fork part the tines will go on automatically There we go. I've got a bit of a rough bit there, which I'll trim off. But there we go. Could probably do with giving this bit of paint, but it's fine. Then all I'll do is just put a screw through there. Or maybe even a bolt, probably a screw, just a couple of short screws, one in either side. That's all that was in there previous. But these ones are rusty now, so I won't use those. And then I'll uh, just give it a good oil. There we go. Okay. So it's had a coat of oil, which makes the wood look quite nice. It's all fixed and uh, ready for use, really. It wouldn't have cost much for a new handle, but I had the bits and pieces in the shed. The hardwood wasn't my first choice. I'd forgotten, if I'm honest, that I still had it, but yeah. There we go, all done, and completely free. Yes, so I had the pieces of wood, which are all reclaimed wood, stuff that I've picked up on my travels, and the actual tines themselves, this fork, uh, I found it years ago, or at least just this part of it, lying on the side of the road. I don't know where it came from, it's well made, uh, it's very sturdy, takes a quite a battering, but uh, it's a nice little garden fork to use. And it's a shame, really, and all it needed was a handle. So I made the original handle for it and just made another one to keep it going. So now I can get on and dig up the plants that I need to. As I said, I, uh, I broke it the other day. We've recently acquired some rose bushes, very old rose bushes, that we uh, that were going to be bulldozing. The people that were um, giving them away were trying to find them a new home. Otherwise, they were just going to bin them. It's a shame because they're very, very old and very well cared for roses. Not this fork, really. It's old. And I like to think it's well cared for, and hopefully that will serve me well for a good few years yet. Alright, thanks for watching.